Hey guys, what's up? I'm Noah, this is Analog Resurgence, and today I'm taking a look at Kentmere 435 millimeter black and white negative film. This is Kentmere 400 ISO black and white negative film for 35 millimeter cameras. I don't necessarily have like a ton of stuff to say about Kentmere 400, but the things that you should really know about it is that it's really, really cheap. It's got a 400 ISO speed, which is a nice medium light sensitivity. And that means that it's really a great kind of film to use if you're like a beginner or if you're just looking to like test cameras, especially. It kind of gives you nice kind of classic, but decent looking results as well. You can maybe use it as like an alternative to some of the more expensive film stocks that are available out there. If you're just looking to shoot some nice 400 ISO black and white film but it's also nothing super special as well now Kent Mir is maybe not a super recognizable brand name but they're actually owned by the same company that manufactures Ilford film Ilford makes some really nice higher quality black and white film and they've been around for a very very long time they manufacture like a ton of photographic products so Kent Mir film is manufactured by Ilford and it's kind of a cheaper alternative to the more expensive Ilford HP5 and Delta 400 ISO black and white films that they make so Kentmere 400, medium speed film, super cheap, really easy to kind of grab and order and buy and play around with, especially if you're a beginner and nice medium speed as well. So let's take a look at some of the actual shots that I got when I took my camera out and shot some of this stuff over the last little bit. And you can just see some examples of it. So recently I've been looking at more high contrast film stocks like Japan Camera Hunters Street Pan 400, which has like crazy high contrast. But Kentmere 400 is kind of like a middle the road it's really like a lower medium kind of contrast it's a little flat kind of across the image there is not necessarily like a huge range of different tones that you're gonna get when you're taking your pictures like overall it's kind of just a really standard kind of basic black and white film like it's not really out here to kind of blow anybody away with it but like I said it is really cheap and it's DX coded so you can throw it in automatic cameras you can expose it in manual cameras now in terms of things like grain it can be like a little clumpy in terms of grain but and it's definitely not like the smoothest kind of 400 ISO film that's out there in terms of black and white and you are going to get better kind of sharper or smoother results with some stuff like Codex Tri-X and T-Max or some of the higher end Ilford stuff that this is just maybe a cheaper alternative to and if we kind of stack it up against Tri-X Codex Tri-X 400 isn't necessarily like a crazy crazy contrasty film but I do really like it because there is just more of an ingrained bit of contrast and more of just like a specific look to it. Whereas Kentmere does kind of lack that a bit and in like a lot of shots, it, it is just kind of flat right across the image. Now that does also kind of leave you some room to take it into a digital editing program like Lightroom or Photoshop and just go a little further with kind of your editing on the photos and try and punch up some of the contrast and just add a little bit more of your own look to it. It is kind of nice and classic with the grain and it is nice and gray across the image and this stuff was just shot at the box speed of 400 ISO. Some of it can seem like a little bit bright as well. So you could play around with maybe underexposing the film actually a little bit instead of shooting it at 400. Maybe giving it just a little bit less light and try and see if you can kind of punch up like some contrast that way and just play around with it a little bit more when you're exposing it in your camera. But I definitely don't like want to be too critical of this stuff because it, it's definitely for what it is for the budget on which you can pick it up on. It's decent and it, it's a decent kind of black and white film. There's maybe just not like a ton of super interesting characteristics or it can feel maybe just like a little lifeless or flat. But again, it, it's maybe like four or five dollars a roll for this stuff. It's 24 exposures in 35 millimeter only. Kentmere also makes a 100 ISO film as well, which I can look at in the future. I, I don't necessarily expect it to be like mind-blowingly different from the 400, but also like Film can have all sorts of different applications and be tailored for different subjects and different stuff that you're shooting as well. So as always, I mean, I recommend you guys check out all this film yourselves as well. And if you wanna see like just uh, just all the shots on the roll of any of the roll reviews, then there is the Analog Resurgence Patreon. There's a link in the description of the videos you can head over, check out and consider like supporting the channel as well over there. So, I mean, as like a beginner film or as just like something easy to pick up and, and shoot and it's cheap and everybody like loves a 
cheap film. So, I mean, just kind of go into it with like appropriate expectations, I think is my recommendation for this stuff overall. Hey, thank you guys so much for watching. Subscribe if you haven't done so already, toss the video a like. And of course, if you've got your own experiences with this kind of film, uh, you can comment down below and, and talk about it and what you think about Kentmere 400. Recently, I set up a PO box for the Analog Resurgence channel as well. So if you have like weird expired film or old stuff that you're not using or you have and you'd like to see me shoot it and show it off on the channel and kind of delve into it if you've got strange analog film stuff in general and you want to send that along to me and you can find the address for my p.o box down in the description of all the videos it's over on the twitter it's on my instagram it's on the info about page for the youtube channel and so uh right off of that it's a little bit of mail time as well i just recently received uh something for the channel as well um i have opened it because i mean it's hard not to uh and this is actually something really special and stuff that i really do uh want to highlight on the channel soon in the future Future. And this stuff came to me. It's a little bit of a care package from the amazing people over at the Film Photography Project. And I will throw a link to the Film Photography Project down in the description of the video and everything. But they sell some amazing, uh, more specialized film stuff, some more obscure stuff. Uh, they do all this interesting stuff. But anyways, without further ado, the uh, the mail. Let's see some paper here. I'm just gonna like empty it out. Uh, so let's see, let's start small here. We got, uh, first of all, we got a couple of stickers. We got a nice card here for Film Photography Project. And we've got actually three things of film here. So we got a 35 millimeter roll of black and white negative Sonic 25 orthochromatic film, which has an ISO of 25, the nice low ISO, processed black and white, like a normal black and white film. A little kind of information sheet for it. High contrast, 35 millimeter black and white film for fine grain, high contrast images with a subtle glow shoot sonic 25 high contrast black and white orthochromatic film from the film photography project so that's really cool and also like super cool is uh these are two rolls of regular eight millimeter motion picture film so i've talked about super eight film i've talked about 16 millimeter film and i haven't really talked too much about regular eight millimeter and uh now i have no reason not to because i can talk about it and then i can also show off some samples of it regular eight uh or also called double eight film comes on little rolls they go in uh smaller like older cameras yeah. So I received a 50 ISO daylight balance color negative film and uh, the film photography project are probably some of the only people who are actually selling like a decent variety of eight millimeter film uh, for people using these older cameras out there. It's not like the easiest kind of stuff to get your hands on. They are selling color negative film and just like a variety of stuff over on their website as well. So 50 ISO color negative film and also a brand new uh, CP10 negative which is a chromogenic uh, 10 ISO, very low ISO, black and white negative film. There's an information sheet about shooting regular eight millimeter. There's a little note here as well um, from uh, Michael over at the Film Photography Project. Hi Noah, I also sent a roll of as yet unreleased CP10 ISO black and white film, perfect for outdoors. Can you shoot a roll of that too? Plus sent a roll of our new Sonic 25 film for you to do what you wish with uh, from Mike. That's amazing. This stuff is amazing. Um, it blows my mind to like re like receive anything from like anybody, any of you guys, or or just any of the stuff, uh, the positivity surrounding the channel, any of this stuff, suggestions and stuff for me to look at in the future. So uh, that's been a little bit of uh, mail for the channel, and of course the PO box, as I mentioned, if you want to see stuff focused on the channel or if you've got just weird weird film stuff shooting around or kicking around you know you send it i'll do my best to try and shoot it preferably no kodachrome as always uh thank you guys so much for watching and anybody who like has subscribed and watches the videos and likes the videos and comments and shares them around and all that stuff uh thank you guys so much for watching and i'll see you guys soon